Hello my beautiful people, Coach Gabby here and today I have an awesome post Thanksgiving anti-bloat workout. All right, we're gonna reactivate our metabolism, burn some calories from that delicious meal and most of all, have fun. So let's get into it. doing three sets. The first one where I explain the movements a little bit to you, show you proper form, all that good stuff, and then set number two and three, less talking, more doing, we go straight through the routine. Starting with our first exercise, we are gonna be doing pull down marches. So what I want in this, in this exercise is to really lengthen, lengthen the body, stretch your body up, and then we're gonna compress it in. Right, like, and that's gonna release some gases down here, help with that bloating. So again, reaching up, 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 and then pulling down into a march, up, down. Really extending as you come up and really crunching as you come down, all right? So we're bringing our elbows down, and if you can, your knees through your elbows. So it's like a march crunch even, all right? So our feet are gonna be in hip width apart, strong stance, so that means our tummy is engaged, straight back and tucked in butt, all right? In starting position, remember to really go through the movements, extend and then crunch, all right? It's not about how fast you do them, it's about the form, quality over quantity, all right? 30 seconds on the clock and let's go. So reaching up and in, up and in. You can even uh, match your breath with this movement. So inhale and then exhale. Very, very good. Alrighty, and remembering that posture, even when we bring our arms up, we don't wanna scrunch our shoulders. We're pushing them away from our, our ears, all right? So up and in, up, keeping them away from your ears and in. Very good. And three, two, one and shake it out, awesome job. Just that movement of extension and then compression really helps you know, move around your stomach, get that digestion going. Um, also helps with, like I said, gas and bloating. So next we're gonna go take it down to the floor and we're gonna be doing um, a tabletop back and forth. So gently on your hands and knees where your hands are stacked right below your shoulders and your knee is stacked right below your hip. And we wanna make sure we have a nice straight back. So avoid arching or rounding over. Nice straight back to, to, to begin with. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sitting down, pushing our hips back, sitting down through our feet into like a child's pose, and then coming back up and rocking forward. Back and forward, all right. Again, that's, you know, coming back to that position and then compressing our stomachs inwards, stretching our upper body and breathing, all right? 30 seconds on the clock, starting position, and let's go. So sitting back, stretching our upper body, compressing our lower body, and then coming back up. Making sure, you know, you're coming back to that stacked position. Your wrist is right below your shoulders. All right, rocking, you can go a little bit faster, a little bit slower, whatever feels best for you. And if you wanna go ahead and widen your knees to stretch your hips out a little bit more, you can do that as well. All righty, almost there. Three, two, and one. Very good, coming back up, shaking out those arms and taking it over onto our bum for windshield wipers. I'm gonna give you three variations for this. So starting with the full, the full movement, so the hardest one, laying back, we're gonna put our feet up in the air, straight legs, our hands are out to the side, fingers spread to help with stability, and we wanna make sure we keep our shoulders on the ground, all right? No lifting your shoulders, keeping them nice and centered on the ground and you're gonna go side to side with your legs. Side, and as your hip comes up a little bit, remember keeping our shoulders on the ground. If you can't go all the way down, then go ahead and just go a little bit. Now, another variation is just bending the knees. So 
Our legs are in like a tabletop position and then just going side to side like this. Really feeling the twist in your stomach, all right? It's like a opposite torso twist on the ground. And if this is too much for you, you're gonna go ahead and put your feet down and then just drop your knees side to side. And that gives a nice twist in the torso and your back. It's a great stretch and warm up as well. All right, and those are the three variations. So go ahead and choose yours. Lay back, ready position, breathe. And you can always start with one variation and then try a harder one in set two and set three. All righty, legs up, knees up, or feet on the ground. And 30 seconds, let's go. Now, if you find that your, um, your shoulders are lifting, because your legs are going a bit too lower, then go ahead and um, not go so low because the important part here is that we keep your shoulder blades on the ground. And engaging the core, strong core, it's gonna help you balance. Very good. And those wide fingers are gonna help with stability. Three, two, one, and down, very good, awesome job. Now, finishing it, we're gonna stay in that position, finishing with a glute bridge, all right? So, on our backs, our feet are on the floor, all right, nice and parallel. And we're gonna have our hands, again, down, fingers spread, but here they're gonna be by your sides for this one. And what you're gonna do is hip press up, press, 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 and then, Come down one vertebrae at a time. It's important to remember to press your lower back down to the floor or the mat. So even though you're lay laying down, you can arch. So this is arching when you're laying down. So we wanna press our lower back to the, uh, to the ground. Nice straight spine. 30 seconds on the clock, glute bridge, big breath, and let's go. So press and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as you come up and then roll your spine down to a flat back. Very good. Press, press, press and down. Making sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. It's easy to hold your breath when you're focusing on something, but it's so important to remember to breathe, deliver oxygen to your muscles. I sound like a broken record, but I'm only here to remind you Alrighty, three, two, last one. Let's hold it, hold, hold, and come down. Very good. Wiggle out those legs and sit up. That was set number one. Great job. Take a second, grab some water, breathe or stretch, and get ready for set number two. Alrighty, set number two. You know what to do now. We have our pull down marches. We have our tabletop rock back and forth. We have our windshield wipers and then finishing with a glute bridge. All right, you got this. Let's do it. Less talking, more doing. Ready position, starting with our pull down marches and let's go. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Very, very good. Coming down to the floor gently and tabletop rock back and forth. Starting position and begin. And three, 
two, one. Very good, come on out of that tabletop, shake it out, and turning on our back for windshield wipers. I did the straight legs the first set, so now I'm gonna be doing the bent knees just to try something new. Alrighty, 30 seconds on the clock and begin. Remember to keep those shoulder blades pressed on the floor. Very good. And three, two, one. Very good, shake out those legs, drop the feet to the floor, hands by your side, and 30 seconds for glute bridge. And begin. Almost there, great job. Three, two, one, hold, hold, and come down. Just shake out those legs, sit up, and give yourself a round of applause. Two sets in the bag. Water break, stretch break, breath break, and then we're gonna crush it with set number three. Alrighty, my beautiful people, set number three. We're almost there, you got this, you're doing amazing. Starting position for our pull down marches. Big breath, 30 seconds, and let's go. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Very, very good. Coming down to the floor gently and tabletop rock back and forth, starting position and begin. Come on out of that tabletop, shake it out, and turning on our back for windshield wipers. Alrighty, 30 seconds on the clock, and begin. And three, two, one. Very good, shake out those legs. Drop the feet to the floor, hands by your side. And 30 seconds for glute bridge. And begin.
three, two, one. Hold, hold, and come down. Just shake out those legs. And that was it, my beautiful people. Three awesome sets of your post-Thanksgiving anti-bloat workout. I hope you liked it. Let us know in the comments below what you thought. And then go to our channel, check out our other amazing videos. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on the next one. Hope to see you there.